Okay, I got all the crabs chasing me. What is happening right now? I cannot get over this cliff over here. What is up, my peeps, and welcome back to the Aberration World. We are here with Pincushion on top of the cliff base. I know, doesn't make sense. I thought it'd be funny. But I am having a wonderful day. I hope everyone else is having a wonderful day. So our plans today are to go into the blue zone because I want to get some higher level creatures. So we could become a little bit more powerful. Oh, there's a green drop. Should we try and go get it? I think we should try and go get that. But yes, we're going to go into the blue zone, try and get some higher level creatures. You guys are going to know what we get into before I even know because of uh, YouTube time travel and all that. But let's go ahead and zap this dude up. Yoink. I did a little bit of extra grindage on the base here. Oh, you pooped. I'll take that. Thank you. Did a little bit of extra grindage on the base here and voila, we have a roof looking beautiful. And I did a little bit of a design on the windows here. I like how this looks. Let me know in the comments below how you, what you guys uh, think about that window design. I like that. Looks cool. It has like a little flare out with a fence post and stuff. I think that looks nice. I need to increase my forge number for sure. But we haven't even been hunting for metal yet because everything takes so long to build in this freaking game. We finished this over here. We have all these walls up. Now, I didn't put all stone uh, dinosaur gateways across. Just did walls so we can put more uh, workshops in here. And then we have a stone dinosaur gate coming out the back end here. I have no idea what is going on with this weird blowy bit going on over here. That's super strange. I'm like seeing through the world right now? Or is that the blue zone? I don't know. That looks freaky from here. I don't remember it looking like that, I swear. <laughs> But yes, we have our workshop in here. We did make an industrial cooker, which I did not use yet because we kind of ran out of oil to make gas for it. But we get that on the way on our adventures out into the outdoor worlds. Now let's go ahead and we're going to jump down real quick. Gather up some more mushrooms for the blue zone here because last time we were suffocating. And I'd rather not suffocate. These mushrooms are really heavy. So maybe we only bring like uh, that many with us because of the weight. I think we'll be all right with that. We got a radiation suit with us just in case we need to use that. I hope nothing takes damage over time. That would kind of suck. But we got our Carcanos with us. We're not bringing Mrs. Crabs because this crab is actually stronger crab. It has higher life and higher melee damage. And I noticed with the Dino Depot, any dinos that you have in your inventory, I think shares experience that you gain. Because I took Pincushion out and put her down and she had 32 levels. Absolutely crazy. And same thing with the crab. I had like 30 levels on him and I'm going to keep the Ravager in my pocket. So I get a bunch of XP for him and level him up. But I think we're just going to go ahead and fly towards the blue zone here. I did have to do a dino wipe just to let everybody know the game was chugging real hard. And uh, yeah, it just needed to be done. Go ahead and fly out. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is this just like a drop off here and I never noticed it? I guess it is. Well, that's an easy way to get into the blue zone. Just fly our way in. So we're going to go ahead and coast through here. That's why we made our base up high. So we can go ahead and fly into the blue zone when we need to. Now we haven't explored too much down this way. I'm going to keep going like towards the south and see what we can run into. Ooh, pretty waterfall. This place is absolutely wild. Hopefully not get killed trying to build up my nerves around here. It does help that I have a stronger crab with us this time. I have my light pet on my shoulder to take care of the nameless. Thank you for correcting me in the comments. I totally forgot what they were called. Now, I think I'm getting closer to the red zone the farther I go this way because I see a huge drop off going like straight to a huge cavern going down that way. 
So we'll venture off to the left just a little bit. Oh, I feel like an airplane. It's flying on through. You know what? I should probably pay attention to my durability. Oh, we good. Kind of. Like quarter way down. We're fine. <laughs> now I need a safe place to land. So we don't get absolutely murdered. Would not be ideal. Now is it safe over here? This place looks fancy and I kind of want to land up here. Alright, let's land right here. Bam. I think we're safe. Let's go ahead and take out our crab. Going to be the best way of transport. Perfect. We have landed. We're deep into the blue zone. Oh, there's a purple drop. Oh, there's a purple drop. I still want it. Did we jump down there? Is there anything down there to kill us? We'll find out. Wee. All right, let's check the area. I think we're safe. I think we are good. Oh, please be something wonderful. Ooh, a blueprint, Megalania saddle, Mastercraft. I have no idea what a Megalania is. Totally forgot. Oh my god, the sheer drop off down there. Okay, that's got to be the red zone down there. There's like red crystals and stuff. So I'm really close to the red zone. Hold on, let's check on the map real quick. Oh yeah, I am really close to the red zone. It starts over here. I should probably venture more towards this way. So if we just keep going straight, we will, uh, we should be good. I'll just keep on hopping my way around. Why does it look like there's a sailboat? Oh, it's a tree. Xbox is absolutely struggling keeping up with rendering around here. This place is just eerie. I don't like it. I like being around the trees, though. They're really pretty. Ooh, what the crap is that thing? Oh god, there's a rock drake over there. <laughs> um, back up a little bit. I just want to see what this thing is. Megalosaurus. Sarosaurus? Level 10? No thanks. I'm not going to try and get cl close to that rock drake. I am good on that one. Try and jump on this route though. Or not. So I'm over here on this bridge, kind of across away from the weird purple zone over there. Still don't know what that is. Looks like stuff is just now starting to spawn in more. Check out this crab down here. Level five. What? Oh, I was going to jump down and kill him. What the crap? Why is there a Sarko right here? That is so weird. A level 40. That's so random. Is there water down? Oh, there's a frog. Ooh, that could be super helpful. Oh, no, come back. Friend, friend, come back. I think I'm just going to jump down and grab him. <laughs> Probably be much easier. Oh, crap. This is all water. I did not even notice. Oh, my God. This is a giant pond. That is the coolest crab ever. I'm not scared. You're scared. OK, it's level 10. That's level five. Low level Sarko. OK, frog. I wanted the frog. Level 45? That's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, I think we're going to have to take care of some of the rift raft here. Go ahead and whip out our arrow bro rows. I'm so nervous right now. I don't want to die down here. <laughs> Come on. Come on over here. Verse me. Fight me. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared. Uh oh, I'm a little bit scared. Don't don't do it. Don't you don't yoke me off of this, please. There we go. We're good. Give me your bits. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful polymer. Oh, got the other one's attention. I'm always really bad at aiming with the frickin' crossbow here. 
I cannot time where it's gonna fall. You gonna die? There we go. Perfect. Go ahead and collect your delicious bits. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this frog because it doesn't really matter what level. He's gonna be useful. And we just like, yep. Aha! Now you're level 45, right? Yep, level 45. Oh my god, his life is so low. Alright, we're gonna kind of like cruise around this area. Freaking A, man. These Megalosaurus like things are so freaking loud. Scare the crap out of me, dude. Oh. Hate you, level 40. You ain't nothing special. Now, is he gonna bother me? Oh god, there's a crab right there. A lot going on. There's a bunch of crabs. There's a bunch of crabs. <laughs> All right, let's get up on higher ground. Now, what is that running? What is happening? What? Homie just yoked him up in his jaws. No, 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 no. That nope, definitely not. What the crap was that all about? 50 Ravager. All right, just keep hopping around. Like, I just want to be on top of a rock. I feel safer. All right, we have another frog. What level are you? 15? No, thanks. Oh my god, a blue crab. Do you have any babies? No. It seems like the babies for the Carcanos are kind of rare. I mean, makes sense since it's supposed to be really hard to tame these dudes and it's not half the time. Can we please get the saddle out of my view? 15 crab, nothing important. Oh, there's a couple of these megas. 50, 40. Ooh, the elusive Anki. I found, oh, it's a level five. Are you kidding? Never going to find anything high level. All right, I kind of want to adventure around the pond. It seems like there's a lot of things over here to gather. Yeah, we're just going to keep, uh, we're just going to keep going this way. Still holding on to my toad in my left hand here. I think we're going to end up taming this dude. Let's hold on to him for a moment. See if we can't find somewhere safe to tame him at. Stupid trees. Always getting stuck. Oh, look, a roll rat. Are you good level? 30. Not even worth my time. So I'm going down. I'm getting a little bit nervous because the last time I seen these crystals, I had a problem with suffocation. So we're just going to walk into this place real slow like. I have no idea where it's leading to. Now we're about like halfway in the blue zone, I think, maybe. Oh, this is getting this scurry. Like I've been running into huge patches and like huge areas that just have like suffocating zones and like you can't do anything about it except for eating mushrooms that I know of. Now, is this just a dead end to a waterfall? Please tell me something there's past this waterfall, right? It looks like there'd be some facets. Apparently not. All right, let's get some. Ooh, there's an explorer note. Yes. Let's go ahead and jump on the crab and get it with the crab so we can get the XP bonus on the hit per two. With a body reminiscent of a gecko, fluttery wings, and a natural stockpile of charge light, Microluminous Psyche has an unearthly, if oddly charming, appearance. A curious creature by nature, it always Ooh, the glow tail. I can't wait to find one of them. I forgot there's other light pets and stuff. That's going to be awesome. Now, I was going to collect me some crystals right quick. I think that'll do. And I think we're going to go ahead and tame the frog up here because there is like nothing around us. So let's switch to trank darts and apparently he just keeps holding them and we can just <laughs> this, this is too easy. 
Uh, oh wow, really? One shot, that's all it took. That's pretty insane. All right, let's give you... You don't need all that much mutton. Let's just give you a couple pieces. You should tame up like right away, like one bite and you should be done. You're level 45. Check out your stats, 400 health. Poop, wait, poop. And melee poop. That's right. Toad's gonna help us get cementing paste because we're always low on cementing paste. I'm gonna wait for this dude to tame up real quick and then we will continue our adventure. Ooh, Toad is done. Yes. I don't have a name for you just yet. We got to think of one. We're just going to pop you into one of our dino balls and call it done. Sweet. We have a toad. Not the best of levels, but that's all right. Let's hop out of this weird dead zone over here. All right. Made it out of the death zone. I'm a little bit farther to the right on the map here. And it there's like nothing around. There's like nothing out here. Like I'm not even sure what direction to go. There's a pretty blue crystal that way. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> oh, crap. There's another rock drake. Let's just keep moving. I don't think I could take on one of the rock drakes quite yet. Looks like we found like a life haven over here. Level 80. Holy crap. And toad. No, thank you. Another one of the jaw picker uppers, level 70. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Now, if I find like 100 plus, I'll definitely grab one. All the frogs in that pond there are super low level. Not worth my time for any of them. Now, do any of these crabs have babies? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, you're all low levels though. Crap. I do gotta say this place is absolutely gorgeous. Like look at the glow, the crystals and just, oh, so nice. I love blue, but that's just me. Roll rat. Oh my God, level 70? That is way better than the one I have. Oh man, I have to get more honey and stuff though. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I could tame that right now. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I hate how they make annoying tames. So we're a little bit more south now. We're probably getting close to the red zone, maybe? I don't really know where the, the fine edges are here. What the crap is going on over here? Ravager's eating a Bigfoot. Sounds about right. And now they're going to eat his baby. <laughs> That's how nature goes. That's how nature goes. Oh, roll right. I wish I could take you. I wish I could take you. Ooh, buddy. I just found an area I do not want to be just quite yet. That is like leading into the red zone. We do not want any of that nonsense right now. Oh my God. <laughs> so we hit our limit. I was just kind of exploring around, seeing where we could go. There's like a bunch of rock tricks down there and like some weird flying bats. All right, so this part is actually leading into the red zone. As you can see, a little flapping thing down there. Crap are you, dude? What the crap are you? Seeker? Oh. Oh. Like the bats of the uh, underground world here? Not a fan. Just uh, peek. Just peek on over this way. I don't see anything really bad, but I'm assuming there's radiation as soon as you start into the red zone, as far as I know, anyway. Red zones for a later adventure. Definitely not ready for that. No, I think I found Frog Paradise. This is crazy. There's so many of them. Oh my god, I just found a 115 roll rat. Are you serious? Oh my god, I wish I could tame you. I have no bee honey. I'd have to go find more bee honey. I gotta get a bee queen to gather my own freaking honey. I don't have to rely on trying to find something. 85 frog. Oh me. I might take him one second. Let me check the rest of these guys. 
All right, we're going to yoke up the 85 real quick just so he doesn't get away. Oh, he is getting away. Come back. Come back. Yes, we got him. All right, we're probably going to tame up this dude because he is a higher level. Hopefully we can mate this with the other one. All right, I'm going to continue my way. Oh, God, what's fighting over here? Another rock drake. I don't know how strong rock drakes are. We could probably look at his stats, right? Where is it? There it is. How much life you got? Oh my god, way too much. 2400, I'm out. Bye! We're not gonna make that cliffside, are we? Oh, we're underwater. <laughs> Crap. Alright, now that I'm at a safe distance, now I can see what's going on over here. Saros, Rock Drake, level 55, 4000 health. Oh my god, those things are savages. All right, looking on the map here, I just have a little bit farther to go this way and we have it all explored up to the red zone edge going all the way around. What level are you? What level are you? Oh God, what is that attacking me? Oh God, that's a crap. What the crap? Nah. Run. I was not prepared <laughs> with the crap. Oh no, there's a rock trick on this side. Crap. Oh no, I'm going to jump right into his jaws. Oh god, oh god, run away, run away, oh god. So much dangerous crap, oh god, there's another crap. <laughs> oh, just keep running, just keep on running. Oh wait, there's loot drop. I want it, I want it, I want it. Okay, <laughs> I got all the crabs chasing me. What is happening right now? I cannot get over this cliff over here. Come on, come on. And you jump. There we go. That's better. Oh my God. So much crap going on up here. I'm keeping my frog. That's all that counts. Now I was going to get this drop. But this, uh, this dude right here. He is all up in my business. Level 15. Should we just lap him? We blapped him. He did. No longer. All right, what we got in here? Lamb chop? Not even worth it. Not even worth it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh no, my crab almost killed the frog he was holding. Because he was slamming his freaking claws down trying to eat that body. Tell me. All right, I think we're going to keep continuing venturing all the way to the right side because I have not been all the way that way yet. Hopefully avoid all the dangers. It is, it's pretty dangerous down here. Like this is intense. Nerves are definitely better. Doing much better job. You gotta run from all the things that try to kill you. That's that's the key here. Oh my god, there's so many crabs. Alright, I'm gonna keep continuing to run. Like little baby. Oh my god, there's more. Oh god, there's crocodile. Ah, uh, nope. That this isn't that good. Oh no. Try and run away. Get. Go and get. God, this place is dangerous. Are we going the right direction? Okay. I'm gonna continue adventuring this way. Bring you guys back when I'm a little bit farther out. Look at these crystals over here. What I noticed. Look at the little blue things around it. Those are just set up. That is a setup. It's just like the mushrooms on the green zone. Don't step into those. They kill you. Oh, that's such that's such a crap that they try to set you up all the time. Absolutely wild. I was wondering what was swimming in the water over here. That's a freaking electric eel. I have not seen those yet. I did not. Those no, those were just like lurking in the water over here. That's freaking crazy. All right, I am up. I'm up here in this area. It took a lot to get up here. I had to grapple a lot to get up this huge cliff. I didn't know how else to get up here. That frog is super loud. Oh my God, there's a dung beetle. Yes. Hold on, we have poop in our inventory. We have poop in our inventory. Can we tame one of these dudes like real quick? 
Uh, yeah, let's grab this. Last item slot. Are we... Are we safe? Not really, but whatever. <laughs> I want a dumb beetle. I don't care. Yes! We got one. Now let's zap him up. Yoink. Perfect. Now let's see if I can poop again. Can I poop again? Dang it. Why can't I poop again? I gotta eat some food. Everyone's away from me at the moment. Let's eat a couple steaks. Can we poop now? Oh, I need one more poop to tame this little dude. I don't have any more on me. Is it the crab poop? I have no idea. I don't think the crab poops. Oh, I wanted the second dung beetle, please. All right, I'm gonna have to just wait around and wait for my pooping bar to come up so I can poop again and tape this guy real quick. All right, we're just gonna bring the frog with us. Those crabs are getting a little too close for comfort. All right, let's try and find a place to tame up this frog real quick so I can stop carrying him around with me. Uh, is there a place I could just tame him up real quick where I'm safe? All right, I think we're like on the edge of a cliff over here. I think I'll just go ahead and tame the toad right here so I could have another claw open for something else. Oh, you're going to take two darts stronger than the other toad. And you're out. Go ahead and give you some mutton. Oh, we're taming up all the creatures today. There you go, sir. Go ahead and eat that up. Gobble it up. You're a male. What other one do we have on us? Oh, it's a female. Yes. You can mate the two. Not exactly super efficient, but that's okay. Do I have to poop yet? Yes, the toad is done. Let's go ahead and zap him up real quick. A oink. I am running out of dino balls. I have three left. We can only get three more creatures. That's all right. Let's go ahead and eat two steaks. Can we poop now? Yes. Is it going to be enough? Tame this dung beetle? Probably not. Last item slot. How you doing, buddy? Oh, we can't reach him. There we go. What is he? 30 some percent? Yeah, 38 percent. That's all right. We grab some more poop. Tame him up. <laughs> That's funny. Still got him. How deep are we now? I'm gonna continue to try to go upwards. Adventure the rest of the blue zone here while trying to get a couple creatures that we need. Now I think it's just gonna be impossible to find like a higher level crab and I'm just gonna have to live with what I have. These crabs are really good. Well, I could always get better. I think the only way we're going to be able to get a higher level crab is just getting a higher level crab with babies and then killing the mom and just taking its babies because I just don't have the patience to set up a catapult and try and tame one the old fashioned way. So far, there's a danger alley over here. Lots of crabs. Lots of crabs. Oh, God, now they're after me. Leave me alone. Just trying to explore the blue zone and have a good time. Why are there Listros down here? That's so strange. They're so out of place. Yep, just get away from this guy. Oh, it's Ankylo City. I knew I'd find you guys eventually. Level five, are you serious? Level 25, come on. Give me a break. Give me a break here. Did you guys poop though? No? No poop for me? What is going on down here? What? It's so funny when they yoke up an animal like that and they just start eating it. It could be like the same size of them. They're just like, yum! Reminds me of a pit bull. I think I may have found the ex or entrance to the surface in the blue zone over here, I think. Not super positive. Hopefully it's not a, another suffocating zone like that one weird cave. Let's go ahead and jump up here and check it out. Ooh, I think I see some daylight. What is this? Maybe not. 
This leads to more blue zone. I thought it was a little cave. Ooh, Ravagers. What level are y'all? You're the alpha? Level 20? Oh my god. <laughs> you're the highest level of the pack. And you're, uh, level 20. Right. Oh god. I found one of them weird zones again. Dang it. Okay. I took my mushrooms this time. Not hallucinating. So, what the heck is up with that? Let's walk forward. I have my protection on. So, my shoulder pet and my crab take damage. That is super weird. I don't like that. I don't know how big that zone is either. Like, maybe it's marked by the red? That might be a thing. Hold on. Maybe if we walk past this red point, it'll start doing it again. Maybe it's something with these red plants. Maybe not. I have no idea what's going on. No idea at all. Whatever. What level are you? 30? Can't find anything high level. This is some bullcrap. One level. Oh my god. 130 Ravager. Bring it. Wait. Are you male? Female? I forgot what we needed. It's a male. Hold on, what do we have in our inventory? We have a male! Brr. Sucks. That really sucks. Should probably grab it anyway. Yeah, I'll probably grab it anyway. Now, I noticed my dung beetle's gone. <laughs> it fell out of my claws. But I do have the other one tamed. It's only like 300 meters away, that's not a big deal. So apparently stuff in your right claw falls out when you, like, clip against stuff. Yoink. Thank you. Just check your level one more time. 130. All right, we'll just go ahead and... You know what? We could check your stats, too. forgot about that. So you have 25 points into weight. Garbage. 18 in melee. 18 into health. You are really bad, Ravager. Like, really bad. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna eat them. Bye. Wow, you really didn't go far. <laughs> okay, now they're just gonna start fighting each other. Sounds good. I'm gonna just abandon this dumb beetle over here. We don't need them. Oh, a level 105 Megalosaurus. I think that's keeper. Now I don't know if this is a normal knockout tame. I'm assuming. I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume. Let's go ahead and, can we grab him? That's an okie dokie. That is an okie dokie. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna skip on that one for now because I don't know proper way to tame those dudes without dying. I have a feeling he's just gonna yoke me off the crab and just like gobble me up and I'll be over with. Oh my God. Oh my God, is that a glow? Is that a glow sheep? Hold on, yoke it up. Oh my god, it's a glow sheep. Shine horn. Ooh, we need it. Let's yoke it up with the left claw so we don't lose it. Oh, that's a good find. That's a great find. Now, what level are you? Level 20 Anki. These Ankies out here suck. We got a glow goat. Super happy about that. I forgot those things were even in the, this map. Now, where are we? We're kind of towards the upper right side. Just kind of wandering around at this point in time. That goat was a good find. Now, I think I just got to feed it some mushrooms. Not sure what kind of mushrooms. Is that another one? That's another one. We're going to grab it. And yoink. Level are you? Oh, you got sweet colors. Level 50, female. What is this one? The female as well. Oh, I love it up here. It has all the great things. Now, I'm not too worried if the other goat gets knocked off. Because I have the other one. Not a big deal. I don't need all of them. Is that a purple drop? Is that a gas vein? Hmm. Oh no, that's a purple drop. 
I don't think I'll be able to get to that though. That is like high up on the cliff. I'm gonna keep ascending the stairways here. I think I'm just going back to the zone I was already in. All right, if I keep going this way, I will eventually start heading back home. Hopefully we could find some uh, awesome old creatures on the way. Oh, they're coming after my goat. Oh boy. Oh, they hit the sheep. No, you savages. I mean, I guess ravagers are savages, right? Oh God. They're going to keep getting attracted to the goat, aren't they? We're going to have to like, let's get that out of here. Going towards the zone. I don't know if I'm okay with. Oh my God, this crab keeps getting caught on absolutely everything there is to get caught on. So aggravating. All right, we're free. No one's chasing us. There is some Yankees. Hello? Level 25. Level 35. Why do you guys suck so bad? Another shine horn. Another shine horn. They both suck. Man, there's nothing good down here. Nothing. We have our one little goat friend. I have to figure out what he actually eats. It is like super bright purple over here. Really weird. And a big death snake. No, thanks. Okay, nothing's following us up here. Okay, let's see what the goat eats first. Tame. See if it's aquatic mushrooms. Put those in the last item slot, just like so. Can't, can't, nope, that's not it. What mushrooms do you eat, little guy? I only have two kinds. Only have two kinds with me. Take one or the other. No, I don't want to ride the crap. Apparently this is going to take a minute. <laughs> can we just, can we just tame the goat? Thank you. Okay, he's going to take two feeds. Or she. That takes, what are these? The brown mushrooms? Yeah, the bur What the crap? Don't eat the goat. Please don't eat the goat. Totally look like you're going to eat the goat there. Yes! We have a shine horn! Oh, that's exciting. All right, let's drop him real quick so we could get him into the pokeballs. Where did it go? Okay, stop following me. Get your little tracker off. Zap you up. And take you home, little feller. Oh, we are deep in the death zone. I have no idea. Where am I? No idea where I am. <laughs> but that's alright. I'm gonna find my way back home eventually. Eventually. That toad should help us out. Like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. The toad should get us... All the cementing paste that we need and we can get metal that's like right near our base that we have going into the blue zone i already put zip lines up so we could take ravager back and forth if we need but i think the best thing we could use is probably the crab we just have to be accurate on how we jump on the roots and stuff this is a gorgeous zone a shame that it's just death just all death i really wish i had my anki in my pocket right now I could uh, go take it over there to the metal zone and start collecting a whole bunch of metal that we need. But that is okay. All right, please make this jump. I don't want to have to run all the way back up here again. <laughs> oh, God, please. Yes. Successful. Okay, it might be easier to use the Ravager on the zip lines that I have set up over here. I have one coming up to the branch, one coming off the branch and down to that side over there. May or may not be easier. We will see. The crab has a lot of weight. That's why I like using the crab. Ooh, a green drop on the way home. Don't mind if I do. Anything bad around here? No. Stupid Diplo right there. He ain't gonna bother us. Please be something good. Been getting crap out of the cementing paste. Hey, cook meat jerky. I'll take it. That's not too bad of a find. No, I am sad that we only got one dunk beetle. That's not too bad of a concern. Is that a yeeling? That is a yeeling. 
most aggravating creature in arc now stupid why is it coming this way i'm incognito i'm in the mushrooms you can't see me i hate this thing so much coming up on the cliff base now let's get up there we need to get our dumb beetle out start loading him up with some poop so we can start making some compost probably throw out a couple dinosaurs up in our base there just so they could start pooping and he can collect it and stuff oh god Oh, base. I never thought it'd be so good to be here again. This is amazing. Now the dung beetle, I think we got to put him in a cage. I'm not super positive. If someone knows, please let me know in the comments. There we go. Wood cage. Where do we make this at? We make it in our inventory, apparently. Let's go ahead and grab the necessities for it. One wood cage coming up. So we got the Ravager with us. We got the Shine Horn. We got two frogs, a 127 and a 67, both mating pairs. So we could actually make a couple frog babies. That won't be a problem. And a one a dung beetle. All right, let's go ahead and get the cage out. We're going to put it on this side of our base over yonder. And I think we're just going to put it like right here towards the center of everything. Open it up. Grab our dung beetle. Throw you in there. Or not. There we go. Oh my god, they're so much bigger than I thought they were. What the heck? Oh, we can't pick you up. Throw him. Pick you up. Whip you in there. Good to go. Now, how do we... Disable species collection. Enable. Okay, so he's automatically collecting poop. So he doesn't need a cage. But as far as I remember, you just keep pumping their weight so they could carry like infinite amount of poop and stuff. Do we have a poop in our chamber for you? We do. Go ahead and feed you one so you can start making compost right away. There you go. Your first human poop. Get to work. Appreciate it. Now we are going to throw a couple dinos out up top here just so they could poop and it can collect. Uh, let's just get a couple smaller ones. A couple of the small dinos here. And since my dinos are going to be out, I'm going to definitely close that gate. <laughs> I don't want them falling out for sure. And I don't think any of them can fit through here. No, I can't even fit through there. All right, we got all these extra dudes out. That is looking wonderful. Now we need to make a feeding trough because I totally forgot that they need to eat. I think I have a little bit of extra raw metal in these forges over here, hopefully. Didn't burn them all. Dang it. It did. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's all right. We have some metal nodes like right here. Go grab these up real quick. Effect. All right, one feeding trough. We're going to go ahead and tuck that back here by the cliffside. Throw a little bit of meat in there and a little bit of berry action. There we go. That should be plenty to feed all these dudes. Get them pooping up a storm. Now this dude just pooped. How long does it take for the dung beetle to pick it up? Hmm. Oh, it's gone. So apparently it's like a 10 second delay. You picked it up. Oh, yeah. Look, it's picking up all the poop. Oh, this is wonderful. We have an automatic farm making fertilizer action. And since we have the ceiling how it is, we could probably put the uh, farm plots up top. Make a little farm up there. It'd be perfect. Now let's go ahead and get our catches for the day out. I want to check these dudes out. And there's our catches for the day. Oh, these dudes are looking wonderful. Check our, our shine horn. It has a blue stripe. I was hoping it had a little bit of blue on it. Wonderful. We have this like kind of blue frog. 
I guess. It's kind of gray. And then we have a yellow frog over here. These two made it together are probably making an awesome looking frog. Oh, look, it's got a buck tooth. I didn't even notice. It's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. That's great. <laughs> but guys, I think that's going to be all the time we have for today. That's the wrong button. That is going to be all the time we have for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys find yourself liking it, please hit that like button. We have an invisible bulk dog again. I don't know what is up with that. He's see-through. He's learning stuff. Yep, just go ahead and hop the floor there while we're doing our little outro. Appreciate it. If you find yourself liking the video, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure your bell is checked so you can see some more awesome content. And we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.